Uh, I'm very happy to have my dear friends, uh, Dr. Subhutu Bhattacharya, with me. He's, I will refer to him not as a tabla or a tabla, but he has a musician because he is not only a great tabla player of his generation, but also a great composer. He knows about music. He knows about vocal music. He knows every part of so-called music. So it's good to have him here and help our students in gaining knowledge in the rhythm and what are the practices that should be done to enrich yourself and to help yourself move forward in your, with your rhythm study and, and for its betterment. So first question that I, I'll be asking, uh, in basically that we have, the problem that we face with the students is sometimes we tend to, to, they find it so difficult to maintain the light that means from one bit to the distance between the one bit to other bits uh, sometimes becomes uh, is not a constant, it, it varies a little bit. So what are the practices that Subroto, uh, you should suggest that they should practice apart from like, what are the exercises that would suggest for them to practice to make this thing a, a really good one? Okay, thank you, thank you. And before I start with, with the, uh, like the tal and how to practice everything, I would like to thank my dear friend, Pandit Sanjay Banerjee, and obviously Mr. Mani and Shampa, and especially Shuro Morchana. Uh, they are the backbone of the Shuro Morchana. And I performed there in New York last year. It was such a fabulous concert. I loved it. And the atmosphere was so good. And because Sanjay and myself was a friend for long, for a long period of time. So in uh, probably kind of 30, 30 odd years. <coughs> so our uh, vibe is kind of very friendly and everything. And now coming back to the question, I'd like to start with what we call like tall class. You know, just Sanjay mentioned like to how to figure it out, how to maintain the beat when you're singing, basically what is happening, like be it singing or instrumental, whoever is uh, playing sitar, saro, santur, or vasuri, whatever it is, like when you are doing that, you have to be uh, very careful about your rhythmic structure, like how you're going to follow it. Suppose I am like starting from my house, I'm going to the market, I'm coming back. So market is kind of three miles away. So you should be aware of the road and the turns and the lights and everything. You should, be, you should know what it is, so where it is, like after 200 meters or after 400 meters. So, so in that way, it, it's an example, but <coughs> so that you, sh you should understand. If I take teen tal, it's a 16-bit cycle, right? So like, I don't have to mention, I, I, I'm sure you all know what is teen tal. Just to keep that beat going back of your mind while singing or playing, it's a trick. There's a trick about it. Like I said, you have to be careful about like when you are going out from your house to the market and coming back, you should know <coughs> the spots exactly where you are going through. Mm -hmm. So this is what it is you should do. Like, you know, imagine your finger, right? And you have to imagine your finger first, like there is 16 uh, places out there. We call, we, we count it like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is 16 bits is all here. And in between 16 bits, you can find 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, whatever it is. It's all there inside. So the thing is, <clears throat> like, well, well, you have to imagine it such a way so that when you are singing, actually, you are following that path. Your finger, you are literally you are visualizing that in front of your, in front of you. Even if it is not physically present, you are not looking at your finger like this when singing or playing, right? But it's all there back up in your mind. Same thing happens with us. When we are playing, we don't 
think about what is going on there, what is going on there, but we have to keep our counting or keep our finger, like as visualizing our finger in front of us, maintaining that lie, you know, that speed. In which speed you are singing or playing, you have to take that and just think about, like if the lie is da, then, then, da, da, then, then, da, na, then, then, da, da, 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 then, then, da, da. This time I didn't count, right? It's all there because I was visualizing my finger. So to do that, what you should do? Simple thing. Just here is the page. This is a trick, you know? You see, you can see that drawing, right? Can you see that? You can see that, right? See, yes. it's a drawing. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Imagine these I are all fingers. I just request everyone to, uh, Subrat, one, one minute. Is it, can yeah. we request everyone to have your video on so that we can get the interactions from you? So whether you're understanding or not, so that will oh, be... Oh, yeah, 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 that will be good, yeah. yeah. If, uh, if yeah. you can video just on. Just the video on, not the audio, but the video on. Just the video on, so that I can yeah. make out whether they're understanding it or not. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, good. Hmm. So, so I have to widen up, right? I don't know how to make it. No. I don't want to see. OK. So the thing is, see, it's a very simple thing. It's a very simple draw, Visual, uh, as if these are fingers, right? If you can draw it in front of your, uh, in front of you, keep it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, till there. So if you keep it in front of you like this while singing or while playing, you are visualizing at the same time as if like you are going through that path. You are coming, you are, you are coming back to the sum, right? You have to come back to the sum all the time. But you have to visualize it in that speed where you are singing. Like if Sanjay can uh, sing some bandish, that will be easy. Can you sing one bandish, Sanjay? OK, OK. Yeah, simple one. Yeah. Pia ke nazariya, jadu bhare pia ke nazariya. Keep on going. I'm, I'm just showing them the finger so that... Pia ke nazariya, jadu bhare pia ke nazariya, jadu so what it is, like when si you're singing, at the same time, to start with, you have to count in that speed. So where the uh, bandhi starts? In the fark, right? In the khali, the yeah. Khali. Na Jadubari Iya Ki Najari Yeah, that's how you should do that. If you don't do that, you will not feel it where P A Ki. See all this P A A Ki E Najari A. So, which point your P A is starting? It's like the whole scanning of the composition. How many bits is P A? How many bits is B Na? So these yeah. are all needs to be uh, calculated and visualized. How how visualized. long it is? Yeah. So exactly. So this is the no. scan you have right now. So it's all there. So when you are keeping it, you you should start with a, like you are counting. Then you just keep this paper in front of you, and sing it, looking at this picture as if you are uh, going through that path, you know? You know where you are. If I have to tell you like, Pia, a uh, key, stop. Where you stopped? It's like 12th beat. So that's how you should be 
it should be ready. When you are singing, as if you see, when, while singing or playing, you might get lots in between, right? It happens. We are, not, we are all human beings. We are not computer. We are not programmed that way. But if you lost in between, then, then and there, you know, no, I just uh, left that, uh, that bit. I just forgot. So next bit is coming. 13, 14, 15, whatever is coming, just catch, catch your stuff from there and come back mm -hmm. to the sum. Most importantly, the vision. Because, you know, anybody can be very strong in Thal, anything. The vision is not good. Vision means you have to look through where you are. That's what I'm, when I started, I said, like, you have to have to <coughs> visualize everything. Whatever you are reciting, you have to visualize. That's the most important aspect of music, per se, like for Indian music, you know. If you don't visualize that, it's not going to come to you, as simple as that. That's the most important thing. So rhythm is kind of the backbone of everything, you know? Because if you touch your heart, the beat is going on. If it goes ups and downs, it, you become high pressure or low pressure, it's there, right? <laughs> so beat is everywhere. Even the universe, you know, has its own time, right? Own lay, own speed. If it loses its speed, a lay, there should be a thunder, you know, catastrophe, as simple as that. So rhythm is the backbone of everything. So when, be it singing or whatever it is, take it, name it, it's all there. When we are talking, one rhythm is going on. Rhythmic pattern is going on, right? Pause is there, um, like dynamics are there. When you reciting that, when singing and everything, Everything is there. Just one thing I would love to say here, like to say here that is very important for you people to recite those things. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That, 